Now, as a real estate salesperson and presenter on My First Home, Barfoot and Thompson's Matt O'Brien knows a thing or two about buying property in Auckland. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. Thanks for having me. First up, I must ask you, is it possible for the average Kiwi <laughs> to buy a property or a house in Auckland? Yep. Slightly loaded question. What, what, what is your average Kiwi? Um, it's, you know, we need to find out that. But, but there's lots of variables that, that, that come into play. Um, but you know, the, 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 sh the, the short answer is yes, absolutely. You know, your average Kiwi family can buy a home in New Zealand. Wow. It just depends where, for how much, who, who you're buying the property off. Yeah. Aucklanders are going on at the moment about how hard it is to get into their first home. What are the barriers that they're facing? The main, the main barrier that, the main barrier is that, is, is that people actually set it up for themselves, is that um, they're potentially going at, at, they're trying to buy houses that are potentially slightly out of their level. Well, that's what we um, all do, that's instant, Yeah, I yeah, know, exactly. So it's a case of people come into the market, they do their research, they try and buy a few houses, and then, and then they probably get a little bit more, there's a little bit more rationale involved in it. Well, when you... When, when you went to buy your first car, and there was a car that you wanted to buy, mm. and then if you remember the car that you actually ended up buying, yeah. Yeah, it's probably a little bit similar to that, I think, eh? Yeah, and yeah. when I mean, you do look, mind you, I must admit <laughs> that sometimes you go to a house and you look at it and the parameters are set and you think you're in with the shot, then you yep. turn up to the auction yep. and you're miles out, you're yep. out of the bidding before yep. it even starts. Yep. Yep. So whose fault is that? <laughs> Don't talk to me about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it has been a really difficult market to buy. And, and, and from my side of things, as a real estate agent, it, it's been incredibly hard to pick what, where properties are going to end up selling for. Um, so what sort of criteria should you be looking for when you're looking for your first home? Should you be looking in the area that you want or should you be looking at the house that you want? Because chances are you're not going to get both of those things. No, well you need to look at how much money, you, you need to look at how much money you've got to play with and then you need to do some really serious research as to where you can actually buy a house for those dollars and also your, your, your own personal situation you know have you got kids do kids need to go to particular schools mm -hmm. um, where do you work you know do you need to be close to uh, local transport do you need to be close to motorways stuff like that so there's all these personal variables that you've got to really you've got to do a lot of research yourself on and in an ideal market it's a, a really fantastic to, to actually um, connect with a real estate agent who can show you houses as a as a buyer's agent um, and they'll have a really good fair idea most of the time as to where you should be looking but uh, read the budget and I guess the more of a relationship you have the more the real estate salesperson gets to know that family so then they know what they're yep. looking for um, I'm gonna create a new word here but I, I guess a lot of people are suburbist as in they you know they don't want to live in a certain area should that worry yep. them when they're buying their first home because if it was me I would just get in while the going's good yeah yeah I mean that's the real key factor is that a lot of the people that you know can't afford to buy their first home are, are wanting to be in in central Auckland and the way the market's been increasing and, and you know going up and up it's, it's it is becoming a little bit a little bit more unrealistic mm. I would say like a, a little piece of advice if you can't buy a house that you that you're going to if you can't afford to buy a house in an area that um, where, where you would personally want to live it might be an idea to even just buy a rental property to begin with just get some money into something a little bit further out um, get some money coming in on it as a rental um, and at least you, you, you've got your foot in the door, you've got your foot in the, in the, you know, in the, in the property ladder and, um, and your money's there working for you. Right, so that's the take home tip. Get your foot in the door. Yeah. It's not exactly what you want to live in, it is definitely worth getting on that property ladder at some, somewhere yeah, yeah. in the vicinity of where you want to be. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And if you don't think it's possible, actually have a chat to a real estate salesperson because, as you said, they might really help you find the right area, the right house, and start that relationship. Yeah, I mean, there are pockets. I mean, if we're talking Auckland, there are pockets of Auckland where, where I mean, I say they're affordable, but there are pockets of Auckland that, that are a lot more affordable than other areas, and they're still actually getting really, really good growth. They're getting as good a growth, you know, as the Greylands, the Ponsonby's, the central suburbs. There are, there are lots of suburbs on the outside of Auckland that percentage-wise are actually still getting a, a really fantastic growth. And not just a philosophy you can apply in Auckland, you could apply it just about anywhere in New yep. Zealand, couldn't yep. you? Matt O'Brien, thank you so much. That was fascinating. Thanks for having me. Good advice.